Now let's uh, go on and bring on our next guest, Talia Goldstein. Talia, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Glad you're here. All right, you're the CEO and founder of Three Day Rule. Um, I wanted to, to allow you the opportunity to give us some background on you. You've got some real depth to you. And then let's get into the Three Day Rule. Love the name, by the way. Thank you. Well, I started my career in television. I was a TV producer for E! True Hollywood Story. But really, I was the resident dating expert. So everyone would come to my cubicle and I would dish out dating advice. And from there, I started to match my coworkers and my friends and realize that I had this hidden talent in setting people up. So I began hosting events around town. The first event had about 20 people. And within a few months, we were hosting parties for 600 people at these massive hotels around LA. And it was really at one of these events where I took a step back and realized there must be something missing in the market if all of these attractive, successful singles were having a hard time meeting people. So I took a leap of faith. I quit my job and I launched 3 Day Roll, which is a tech-enabled, personalized matchmaking company. All right. How how do you keep things on the straight and narrow with this? Because uh, there are some some people that get into the um, electronic dating world and it doesn't quite work out so good for for some people. And there's lots of stuff on the news right now. How do you protect your your clients and those using your services to make sure that things go right or go the way that mm-hmm. they're supposed to? Well, a really big part of our service is that we meet everyone in person. So we are, you know, spending about an hour or so with them, really getting to know them, doing a gut check, and we're meeting people face to face. So we get to see do they look like their photos or they who they say they are and there is a personal element where a lot of the other apps out there they don't have that piece. Okay. Now I get it. All right. So you're getting you're actually getting involved. It's not just swipe left, swipe right. Exactly. It's a lot more like a friend is setting you up. Okay, that works. That that because then people feel that you know there's somebody accountable. All right. Exactly. All right. So let's let, let the get a personal matchmaker and uh, who, who goes on the blind date for you. I mean, that's a catchphrase here with you. We'll, we'll, <laughs> I oh. know we say we go on all your bad first dates for you. Okay. It's basically like outsourcing your love life. You know, the average online dater spends twelve hours a week online. So if you do have a full-time job and a life, it's really hard to keep that up. So what we do is we meet you in person, we get to know you, what you're looking for, and then we go and meet your matches in person as well. And when we find someone where we truly believe there is a connection, we'll set you up on a date. You go on the date, and then after, we get feedback from both parties. And it's a really important part of the service because if you're dating on your own, you never get feedback. You know, there's a term right now, people ghost each other. And they just disappear, and you never know why. So as matchmakers, we get to bridge that gap. And what we find a lot of times is that the two people actually really liked each other, but they didn't think the other person did. And so we get to bridge the gap, and they'll go on a second date. What types of dating trends are you seeing today? I think that we had this period of time where it was a little bit about the hookup culture. You know, there are over 2,000 dating apps out there. And I actually am an advocate for online dating, but it's finding the right one for you. I think now people are going back to wanting a serious relationship. They're going back to wanting a friend setting them up. So matchmaking is making a really big comeback. And they want to feel you know, safe in dating. What about the evolution? I mean, there's, there's an evolution of dating. How has it changed since you started the company? Well, when I started, there was really only Matt, and eHarmony, and JDate. So we didn't have these apps. And over time, we got Tinder and Hinge and Bumble, and there are so many dating apps out there. Mm. And what I think is happening is people are overwhelmed by the amount of options. The great thing about online dating is it brings us people we would never meet in our real life. But the tough part about it is that there's endless options. So I think at this point, people want it to be narrowed down and that's why they're turning to matchmaking. What inspired you to come up with the name Three Day Rule? I mean, where did that come from? <laughs> so it originally came from the movie Swingers. It's this old rule that guys used to wait three days to call a girl after getting her number. We've, times have changed, and we definitely don't believe in the rule, but we kept the name. 
All right. Uh, we're going to go to break in, in just a minute, and you're going to come back, and we're going to talk more about three-day rule. But uh, what excites you most about three-day rule before we go to break? I love seeing the clients meet people they would never have met on their own. We're truly changing our clients' lives every day, and that is what excites me the most. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Let's take a break and come back. There's much more to talk about with you. And before we go, though, uh, contact information, Talia, for for our audience to reach out to you and give your service a a try. Yes. You just go to 3dayrule.com, T-H-R-E-E. It takes one minute to sign up, and then you'll be assigned a matchmaker. Okay, great. All right, Talia Goldstein. CEO and founder, Three Day Rule. You've been listening to CEO Money with Michael Yorba. And don't forget to tune in to our iTunes, our Google Play, Stitcher for our podcast. We'll be right back on the other side of this break with CEO Money. Welcome back to CEO Money. I'm Michael Yorba. Thanks for joining us. All right, we are back on the show with uh, Talia Goldstein of Three Day Rule. Talia, welcome back to the show. Thank you. All right, I want to dive into a different direction than we took on the last segment, and let's talk about some of the business aspects of what we're going on to. The rise of female entrepreneurs in the dating space. Walk us through what you're seeing on that side and how you separate what you're doing from everybody else in the crowd. Mm -hmm. It's been interesting to see over the last few years what's happened in the dating space. When I started, every major dating site was run by a man. And now you have Coffee Meets Bagel, Bumble, Three Day Rule, The League. Some of the most major players in the space are now run by females. And I think what's happened is we got sick of having 500 messages in our inbox that say, hey, cutie, how are you? And we wanted to create our own apps and own features that will make dating more efficient and safer for women. So it's been quite interesting to see what's happened. And again, I am an advocate for some of these apps, especially the ones that I mentioned. Tell me about this matchmaking comeback since, you know, since this Vanity Fair published a, you know, the, the scathing report on dating in America. Yes. Well, <laughs> So 93% of our clients have tried online dating before and they're coming to us when they're fed up and overwhelmed and they really want help through the process. And matchmaking is making a very big comeback. I think partially it's because people want to outsource their love life and partially it's because they really want to learn. I see a lot of our clients that are focusing on the wrong things. You know, they're really looking for what they want versus what they need. And so we guide them through the process. It is an iterative process where we have to work together. But by the end, they're more confident. They truly understand what they should be looking for in a match. And we're making a huge difference in their lives. All right. The, uh, the, these matchmaking uh, companies such as yours, they're actually, from my understanding, becoming far more sophisticated. They're going into the world of venture capitalists, angel funders, and things of that nature. Are you dipping your toe into that well to, to move your business to the next level through um, investment into your company? Mm-hmm. We've raised a couple rounds of funding, and we even have a strategic investor, Match.com, invested in us, and we are their exclusive matchmaking company. So we have a lot of strategic partners, Match, OkCupid, JDate, Christian Mingle. We're sort of this VIP layer above the major dating sites. So yes, we are looking to grow and scale and get across the country as fast as we can. So are you looking for capital formation of the people that that buy buy stock in your company? Are you looking for an IPO down the road? Or you're -hmm. you're thinking that strategic partnership is, is the way to grow your business? Right now, we're focused on strategic partnerships, okay. but we are contemplating another raise. You know, our goal is to get across the country. Right now, we're in nine major cities, but we want to double that over the next couple of years. Well, with every location, you have new staff, because if you're actually meeting the people, then d- d- let's first break out the nine cities, and then tell me where you're, where, how you're going to scale this thing up. 
Yeah, so right now we're in L.A., New York, San Francisco, Chicago, Boston, D.C., Philadelphia, Orange County, San Jose. Dallas is our next city. Hello. And we're looking to get into Seattle and Portland, Miami. There are so many cities that we really should be in right now. How and many? The way that we, go, oh, sorry, I'm go sorry. Ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I want to keep going on that track. Well, it is important that we have matchmakers on the ground because part of our job is to go out in the real world to find matches. So if we have a client that is into corporate men, for example, you know, we're infiltrating medical conferences and real estate events. We're on the ground meeting as many people as we can. How much staff do you have to have per location? We hire several matchmakers to start and then we grow. So we have 50 matchmakers across the country. All right. So it depends on, on the, the on the, the demand in the city for how many matchmakers you put in. They must have to go through some extensive training to really be sensitive to, to what's going on when you're making a match and then being able to kind of shepherd that through so that it, it works out. Is, am I on, on page with you on that? Yes. No, it's exactly right. It is not an easy job. And they have extensive interview process, extensive training, because it is so important that we find the right people in every city. And these matchmakers truly are incredible. We all came from corporate America. So our matchmakers were investment bankers, attorneys, publicists that were doing this just for fun, the same way that I was in television. They were matching their friends and their coworkers, and they recognized that this actually can be a profession. So they're leaving their corporate jobs and working really closely with the clients as matchmakers. We've got about a minute left before we have to go. Uh, closing words, advice, wisdoms you'd share with aspiring entrepreneurs or others who are looking to start a business? Yes, I would say find advisors who will give you tough love. It's really easy to find people that will tell you your idea is amazing, but you really should seek out people who are going to poke holes in your business so you can make sure it's something that you really want to spend all your time doing. Okay, all right. Uh, last but certainly not least, uh, how can everybody find your website so that they can start the process and when are you coming to Dallas? We will be there soon. You can sign up now and you'll be assigned a matchmaker or a date coach, but you can find us at three day rule.com. All right. Perfect. All right, Talia, you've been a great guest. I want to thank you for being on the show. And uh, when you come up with something new, do you want to talk about? You're always welcome here. Thank you. My pleasure. Talia Goldstein, three day rule.com.